Hi, everybody. Um, I'm really excited to talk to you about the Magnifica Porcelain. And um, today um, is myself, Alicia Bedrosian. We have Federico Gasparetti with Stone Peak. Um, and we have Tom Cotton, who's the, a fabricator and owner of Perry Masonry. And we're going to be talking today specifically about the 2CM um, and why this is such a great product. So our agenda today will be to discuss the new 2CM option. We'll talk about the inkjet technology of this product, the applications, the benefits, the installation process, and we'll have a, a quick Q&A at the end. Um, so you can see in this picture here, um, which was done by the designer Remedy Furniture and Design. They installed um, one of the Magnifica porcelains in the kitchen, and it's absolutely stunning. So we're really excited as this is the first 2CM uh, porcelain panels that have ever been made in the U.S., and they're using state-of-the-art technology. So this is a huge, huge deal um, to have this product made in America. Um, and it's an excellent choice for countertops because it's easy to transport, cut, and install and offers the outstanding durability of porcelain with the beauty of natural stone. Um, so what's really neat about this is it's using inkjet technology. So with advancements in inkjet technology, you can achieve unparalleled stone realism um, using you know whatever look that we want to replicate. So what they do is they take um, real slabs, so if you wanted a Calcutta look, they would take real slabs of Calcutta, they would scan them, um, and then they would use almost like a big printer to replicate this onto tile. Um, it's the way that most tile is made today, and it, it really makes for an absolutely beautiful product. Um, so we're excited to talk about that. So for applications, the Magnifica Porcelain 2CM offers homeowners and designers and architects an excellent option for countertops in both residential and commercial applications. And what's really great is you can use this both indoor and outdoor. So before, you know, if you wanted to use a Bianco Carrara look um, outside, you wouldn't want to do that because of all the issues um, with natural stone, but you can now get that same look um, using Magnifica. So the 2CM panel um, can be used in a lot of different ways. We have um, a lot of different sizes that we'll get to later, but you can do floors, walls, countertops, both interior or exterior, as we spoke before. You can use a seamless backsplash for this, shower walls, concealed doors, cabinetry, cladding, um, tabletops, benches, fireplace surrounds, sinks, exterior walls and facades. Um, and this is a great product for residential and commercial use. Um, here you can see a kitchen with that installed as well. So currently we have 14 colors in 2CM with three finishes, polished, toned, and satin. Um, you can see all the colors there. Um, we have a great selection and we'll be continuing to add to this um, as time goes on, we'll, I'm actually going to Italy in two weeks from now and we will be purchasing um, some more uh, beautiful, beautiful products. Next slide you can see, um, this is just a range showing the different sizes that this product comes in. So in the 2CM, the slab size is 127 by 60 inches. Um, we also have a 12 millimeter and a six millimeter in a 120 by 60 size. Uh, we have 60 by 60 and 6 millimeter, which is just cut down from the slab, um, a 60 by 30. We will be stocking the 48 by 48 in November, which we're really excited about, and that will be in a little bit thicker and an 8 millimeter thickness. We are currently stocking the 30 by 30, um, and we'll have that in 8 millimeter thickness, and then you can cut that down um, to a 30 by 15. So those are the available sizes, and what's great is if you're doing say a bathroom and you want to use the same product on the floors, the shower walls and the countertops, you can do that now. So that's this is a very great program. Um, so the benefits of this Magnifica Porcelain is that it's a super durable product. Um, I honestly think it's the best thing you can put in your kitchen. Um, it's an extremely resistant to scratches and um, staining and etching. This is actually my kitchen countertop right there, and I've had this product 
um, on my counters for about a year now. Um, I had the 12 millimeter installed by Tom last year, and this product is phenomenal. Literally, uh, I don't recommend it, but my kids have taken a Sharpie to the counter, and I was able to clean it off um, using some products that I'll show you. Um, this is just by trial and error. I found these products to be the absolute best. Bar Keeper's Friend um, with a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser or a Scotch Bright Dobe Scrub Pad literally has been able to get out um, super glue. My husband was super gluing a toy the other day and some of it got on the counter and I thought, oh no, that's never gonna come out. But a little bartender's friend uh, Adobe scrub pad and and my counter looks good as new. Um, so I I highly, highly recommend this product um, for so many reasons. First of all, it's 100% natural and I, I care about what goes on my counters um, and in my home. But also, I mean, I spill oil, I spill pasta sauce, and um, I haven't had one stain in a whole year. So I, I absolutely love this product. Um, we'll get into more on installation, but this installs just as you would install a granite or a quartz counter. Um, with some of the thinner materials like the 6 mil or the 12 mil, there was um, more guidelines on how you needed to do things. Um, but with the 2CM, you can go right over plywood. Um, you can see in this video, uh, Tom's crew is installing and fabricating um, some of the material there. And they're going right over a counter. Um, this is a blade that we recommend. Um, there's been a lot of conversations about, you know, what is the right blade? What should what should we be using? This is specifically designed for the 2CM um, and for the porcelain in general. And it cuts the Magnifica large format porcelain. It's the most sophisticated technology um, using um, that diamond blade. So we want to make sure you guys are using the right product to cut. Um, Tom's going to talk more about that as well. Um, and we have these, we will have these in stock tomorrow. So um, please make sure you guys are getting this blade um, as it's very important to use the right blade for this product. Uh, I get a lot of questions about undermount sinks. Um, it's really easy to install an undermount sink with a simple and beautiful polished edge. That's how I have it in my kitchen as well. And I, I think it's the more durable way um, to install it. I, I have not had one chip and I've had it for a year, like I said. Um, so that's really, I think, the best way to do the sink. You could also do an apron, which I know Tom has done in some, some other projects and that looks, well, as, looks great too. Um, I think this is just the most durable. Um, so now we are going to get into some Q&A. So um, Frederico was on the line too, so he'll be unmuting himself. Yep. So the first question is, and this is for Frederico, um, what makes the 2CM thickness so unique and what are the benefits? Hi, good morning, everybody. Uh, thanks for being here attending this webinar. Yeah, basically mainly is the better physical properties that porcelain has compared to, of course, you know, quartz and granite, sometimes also, of course, granite and marbles and stones. Uh, such properties that we're talking about, of course, are uh, durability, the strength, uh, and the fact, of course, like uh, Alicia already said, that we, you know, the material is uh, basically, actually, no, basically, but it's acid resistant, stain resistant, heat resistant. So this is a material that, you know, has been in the market already for uh, 50 years, but, you know, we've been working on top. You, you, everybody's familiar with tiles, you know, those porcelain tiles where we work on, you know, they're everywhere, like, you know, in restaurants, in fast food chains, airports, shopping malls. So now the technology allows us to do, to basically to have the same uh, high tech material, but and to produce these beautiful slabs. The natural beauty of the products makes all the rest because, you know, of course, the people then, you know, they will be able to visit your slab yards and see by themselves uh, the look. It's uh, is really stunning. Uh, the second question here is, uh, are the slab uh, stocks in the USA? We are proud to say that not only they are stocked in the USA to all the location that the Droja has, uh, they are, but probably we can say that we, we are, they are made in the United States. 
company, our company invested a considerable amount of money in technology, in the most innovative technology that is available today in the market. I'd like to stress that out. This is the most innovative technology and to bring it to the United States, to our manufacturing plant in Tennessee. So the material actually not only stocked, but is made here. And that's, you know, of course, you know, for many reasons, logistic and timing, and, you know, it, it makes a huge, huge, huge difference and a huge advantage. Uh, what is the average weight of a slab? Let's say that, you know, a slab, uh, our slab, the full slabs uh, that you can see, that you can find at, uh, at, uh, at the slab yards, at the Bedrosians, are uh, average uh, 537 pounds. Uh, can you use the 2CM panels on floor and walls? Absolutely, yes. Uh, we have an amazing program. We can use it indoor, outdoor, countertops. You know, we have different thicknesses. So that, for example, of course, the 2CM is uh, uh, tailored to for countertops, and then we go to six millimeter, which is great for wall and floor. Uh, the porcelain itself is a frost resistant, is a, so it's a thaw resistant as well. So it's a, again, I repeat, acid resistant, is absolutely stable to UVA and UVB. So he, he can uh, definitely go outside. The only question, of course, you know, care when you go outside, if you are going on, a, on the floor, it's the only thing you have to check is coefficient of friction to make sure that you use the right product that is not too slippery. But uh, uh, technically speaking, yes. So this was... Uh, Thanks, Federico. And now to the inkjet technology. Um, I'll answer the first question and he'll answer the rest on here, but how many colors do we offer and what sort of design aesthetic is possible? So we offer 14 colors currently in the 2CM um, in polished, toned, and satin finishes. The satin feels like um, like a very nice, um, smooth stone. I love that, that finish as well. Um, we offer over 100 SKUs in the Magnifica program. We will continue to expand on this. We really believe in this product. Um, and the colors we offer are the most precious and prestigious stones found in natural stone. Um, number two, from the aesthetic perspective, how does the porcelain compare to quartz slabs? Frederico, do you want to answer that? Sure. I mean, uh, of course, uh, you know, I could definitely say, I mean, of course, the slab they're going to be there for everybody to see. I mean, the, the, the beautiful, you know, things here is that they're going to be at your slab yards and they're going to sit next to uh all the beautiful stone that you have so you're gonna sit next to quartz to granite you know to to marbles so i it's really invite everybody to to, to go and see them to see themselves how beautiful they are in my opinion of course uh, they look even better they're definitely better than quartz but for the way that they're made so uh, definitely it, better than quartz i mean the realism of the stone is sometimes hard when when we have them at our slab yards and you see it next to the actual stone itself yeah, I mean, I have a hard time telling which one is actual stone and which one isn't. Um, it's just beautiful. Um, and the way that quartz is made, it will never be able to compete with the way that porcelain's made. So I think um, from a design perspective, it's just a way more superior product. Yeah, also consider the fact, you know, like Alicia said before, it's important to know who we put in our in our houses, especially when we have, you know, for everybody, but also when we have kids. I mean, this material is... Uh, it has no binding agents whatsoever, so it has no resins, it has no, um, you know, it's really one full body that is actually uh, without any VOC whatsoever, you know, virtually lead free. So it definitely, definitely a very hygienic and safe product to have uh, in, in our houses, in our homes. Uh, do end user need to pick? how the slab like they do with natural stone. Um, it's always a good to see the products in person. So of course, yes, I would definitely go to, to the slab here and go and I would check them. I I would see, you know, what I like and what I don't like on the slabs. Like, every, you, know, you know, please, uh, the invitation is that we are making these labs, uh, you know, re really like mimic, mimicking uh, nature. So in the slab itself, there might be a point or maybe a vein that people don't like. Of course, this is the, the cooperation with the, with the fabricator. It's a uh, key. So I'll say, okay, I want my counter. Please, I don't want. I don't really like that, that this pattern on this, or I don't like this corner. 
they can be worked it's the same the same way so it definitely is better to go and see of course you know the advantage is the veining is controlled because you know we make it is a, is a man-made product so uh, we choose and we choose only the best vein so we actually got the best uh, uh, quarries as slab from the best quarries all over the world and you know and we try to 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 replicate in this case only the, the best one because we have the opportunity to do those so the best one why would you say users uh, should use Magnifica over competitive product? Uh, we have given this product to fabricators around the United States, and we have been told actually from them as well that this cut uh, better than our competitors. It is actually made also differently from our com from from other products that are in the market. There are several technology in the market, so it is not true that porcelain slab are all made the same way. Uh, and you know we proud. We pride ourselves of uh, our innovation and R&D. Our company has always been on the benchmark and one of the companies that we have uh, uh, patented also many technologies in the industry. So it's definitely a very good product. Yeah, definitely. Um, and there's less tension in these slabs, um, so they're less prone to breakage than some of the competitors. Um, we've definitely heard that a lot. We have heard that a lot, exactly. And the good thing is that we've heard it from the fabricators, not uh, so not from ourselves, I mean, of course. But you know, it's not only from us. So on to applications. Why are two CM panels so well suited for countertops? Yeah, the thickness uh, makes them uh, cut as easily as quartz mm -hmm. and granite. So definitely, uh, uh, they are great to create countertops, seamless countertops, and uh, just as a slab of, of you know, of uh, those other materials would do. So yes, they are definitely very well suited for countertops. I will actually say that uh, we studied them for countertops. So uh, we increase the thickness exactly so to take away all the issues about, you know, uh, how you handle them, how you transport them, how what, what kind of support shall we put underneath? So these labs started to be countertops for sure. And for um, how do you think the porcelain slabs will hold up over time, particularly the edges? Um, I can speak to this in that I have not had any issues with my edges um, in the year that I've had my counters. And I have a two and a three year old that are very hard on my counters and my floors and my cabinets and um, I will say my countertops look amazing and I have had no issues um, with the edges. Um, this is actually a, a harder product than um, than quartz, which is softer. Quartz yeah. is softer. So this is this is really a great product to put on your counters. Um, number three, for the limitations of floor application, um, are there any with the large panels? Of course, we have to look. No, there are none. As long as we, of course, we choose the right, uh, the, the right thickness, in my opinion. And, and the, the, the great advantage here, for example, with the Magnifica program that we have uh, tailored for you guys, is that you are offering all the range, the, a very wide range of choices. So you can really, with the same look, with the same patterns, with the same uh you can go uh, we strongly recommend for example on the floor uh, rather than using a huge slab in 2cm which would be very unnecessary you can definitely use the six millimeters or you can go with the eight millimeters on the size of 30 by 30 30 by 60 60 by 60 48 by 48 those are all easier to use but uh but yeah we don't recommend the 2cm for the floor um, it has, like i said before it's not that you can, but it's too heavy. It's that's suited for counter. Counter. And for the forty-eight by forty-eights, I want to also add that ours is rolled, not pressed. So you're going to have not as you're not going to have the pressure points, um, and you're going to have really straight cuts on the forty-eight by forty-eight eight mil. So if you wanted to do a coordinating um, floor in forty-eight by forty-eights, and you wanted to do a matching counter, or if you wanted to pick another color within the range, um, you could you know, make a really nice design. So, and the the competitors on the 48 by 48 are pressed, whereas ours is um, is not. So that's sure. a big deal. Um, number four, can porcelain slabs be outdoors? We kind of already spoke to this, but yes, they can. Um, 
thanks to the better quality product uh, properties in, in the material, the slab offers superior performance outdoor. Um, it's not an issue um, to, be, to be used outside. Um, number five, Frederico, can it be stored outside or will it warp or fade sitting in the sun? Yeah, actually, like uh, this, uh, this, uh, this, this question is linked to the to, to the previous one, of course, because it's suitable for outdoor application. This material can, of course, be stored outside. Uh, it, it does not, uh, if it's properly, uh, you know, if it's installed, if it's properly installed, it does not work. Of course, like I said before, it does not fade under UV rays uh, and is resistant to staining, more thermal expansion, thermal shock, freezing and everything I said before. So absolutely, that's another advantage. Even your fabricators, uh, you can store it outside. If you have a few left, uh, and this material will never change its, its appearance, not even after many years actually has been out there. Okay, and then number six, besides 2CM, what other thickness options do we offer? What are their uses? We kind of already touched on this. Um, there's, a, you know, a lot of other options. We do offer a book match um, in some of the colors. So those are available. I see that Beth asked that question. We, we're getting some questions um, sent in, which we'll try to get to all of those. Um, one of them also was, are the colors all the way through? Um, they're not all the way through, um, but the, the body of the, of the material is the same as whatever the predominant color is. So when you saw that undermount sink earlier, which I'll go to here, you can see the vein doesn't go all the way through um, on that edge. It does not bother me at all. We haven't had any um, pushback about that. Um, no. But you can see how that, how that looks. It's a beautiful um, It's absolutely beautiful. Um, okay, and we'll get on to benefits, and then I'll try to answer some of your guys' um, additional questions as well. So what are the benefits of porcelain over quartz and natural stone? Okay, so I reply, is made, first of all, the porcelain is made from natural raw materials such as clays. Uh, the natural look is superior to quartz, like we said before, and again, it's up. It's, the slabs are there for everybody to see. It has a better quality and performances, which is true. In durability, staining resistance, scratch resistance, and is very, very low maintenance when compared to quartz and natural stones. In general, you know, uh, as, as well, I mean, it's, it's like I said, it's, this is a technologically speaking way superior product. So uh, it reflects in every aspect of it, its performances. So, yeah, it, it really does. Number two, how does the cost compare to other countertop materials? So this product is a little more than quartz. Um, we feel it's a way more superior product to quartz, um, but it's also less than, than some of the natural stones because, you know, some of the Calicuttas, you're, you're talking $80 a square foot. Um, for this product, the MSRP is around $32 and $35 a square foot. Um, on the 2CM. And um, so it is a little bit more, but we feel like uh, it's a more superior product. So the cost is higher um, for everyone as well. Um, is it number three, is it color body or through body? And why is that important? Yeah, the material is actually considered color body, it's the one that, of course, we are making uh, right now. The edge is polished to the same color as the main color of the panel, which is like the background. And what you said. So basically, the only thing that is uh, that is not uh, is the vein is not going all the way through. And I would like to, to also to express the fact that every part of the coloring of the of the slabs uh, in, in our slabs are uh, natural, so which means that you know we use mineral uh, natural mineral oxides to create uh, you know everything, even you know the color of the vein to create you know any kind of glazing or any kind of, you know, and the body itself. So it's an extremely natural product. That's why when you polish it, it looks so beautiful because, you know, the white uh, that you have, the background white, for example, you have on a calacata, will be this, the body is going to be that white. So uh, it's, it is a, it, it, it's, it's really important that the body is, is it's, it's, let's say, colored the proper way 
And that's uh, uh, an invitation that I also do to people when they go and make their selection or when we, it, when we promote this material, of course, you know, to point that out that people, you know, to check the body of the competition as well, that really makes a big difference. Yes, because um, I see a lot of product as a product manager. Um, the reason that we love partnering and we buy our product through Stone Peak is because their body of their, of their porcelain 2CM matches the top. A lot of competitors, this product is made, you know, internationally in, in other places. And sometimes the screens are, you know, very beautiful too, but the body is very yellow. So when you do a countertop or you're doing an undermount sink and you see that edge is real yellow, it really does not look good. So it's important, it's very important to know that our product that we're selling has a very white body and you're not going to get... Um, that yellow body um, that a lot of the competition um, does have. Yeah. So that's important for homeowners to know as well too. Um, number four is, let's see, do the porcelain panels have book ma match capability? Um, yeah, yes we yes, do. Yes we do. Yeah. Um, we just have to sell, so just like tile has lots, so if you come in and you wanna buy even some wood looking porcelain tile, we would sell it from the same dye lot, which means um, the same time it was produced so that your floor has the same shading and lot. The same would be true for these slabs. Um, they have to be sold from the same PO or lot, so the same run, um, so that the shading is the same. And next, I'm excited to have Tom Cotton here from Perry Masonry in Anaheim. He is awesome. We send a lot of, a lot of product, uh, projects your way. And so I'm confident that, um, how long have you been working with, with porcelain slabs, Tom? Oh, it feels like four to five years, quite a while. Yeah, he's definitely an expert in this. Um, so I'm excited to have him here with us today. So um, number one, um, are fabricators receptive to the porcelain slabs? I would say there's a little pushback to begin with, but um, as a fabricator, I definitely enjoy working with the porcelain slabs. Um, they're very easy to work with and they're very uh, beautiful and easy maintenance. So the customers are really happy with it. Um, my fabricators at first were hesitant, but now they all enjoy working with it as well. That's great. Yeah. Number two, um, did you want to add something, Federico? Yeah, actually, I would like to, to add this because this is very important. Uh, actually, all the pushbacks that we had, uh, uh, also from the fabricator, they were very useful for us. So that, I, to me, actually, is a, is, I think is a very positive thing because, you know, we are all, uh, we learned so much from them. And that's also why we have, uh, we have uh, increased, you know, the, 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 the potential of this material. We have... Uh, we have decided to produce different thicknesses by listening to them and also by listening to them what were the pushback the material so far is, is, is so I think it start is, is way better so uh, that's why I think you know we actually appreciate uh, the, 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 the pushback sometimes because you know if they are constructive like they were they they now they're opening up uh, uh, to, to a new possibility for this material in my opinion is going to be the future of the countertops Yes. Okay. And number two, do you have to be certified or trained to install this product? Um, you do not for the 2CM. No. Um, you would install it just as you would um, quartz or granite. Um, number three, how easy is it to transport, fabricate, and install the 2CM porcelain panels, Tom? They're very easy. I mean, they you can pretty much treat them like a granite or quartz like you already work with. So I've been pretty happy with the transportation and the handling of it. Okay, great. And then um, number four, do you need to do relief cuts on your material when you're using the 2CM? Um, you don't have to. Um, it's a judgment call in certain situations if you choose to. Um, as a fabricator, you need to do what you're comfortable with. Um, we hardly ever do relief cuts and, and we manage very well. Okay, great. Um, number five, do you need a sub countertop? Uh, just like quartz or granite, um, they have sub tops, and we generally do use the sub tops, and we go right over the plywood. Okay, great. And number six, 
What's adhesives for outdoor installation recommendations for porcelain countertops? What would you use? Are you referring to the epoxy to, to seam the to apron together? Yeah. Um, you know, the Mob Pay Care Elastic works well, um, or the Caracol H40 Extreme in Gel, or the Ultra Deformable Welding Adhesive Type R Class 2. Um, those are all good products. Okay, great. And um, number seven, how do you repair scratches during fabrication and installation in the home? Do you have that issue? Um, it's remarkable how little issues we're having mm -hmm. with customers. I mean, it's it's a rare, rare occasion that we have an issue with the porcelain. I've been really happy, but if there is something that needs to be done, we can do it in the home. Okay, great. And number eight, how hard is it to repair the cracks and chips on site, particularly if it must match the inkjet pattern? Um, again, it's just like working with the granite or quartz. Uh, it's it's very easy, not very difficult at all. You just use an epoxy, an epoxy. And right on the job. Right. Okay, great. And then um, number nine, how easy can the slab, well, it's kind of similar question, altered on the... Yeah, very easy to, yeah. to make any alterations that need to be done. Okay, and then number 10, do you use the same material for seams and miters as quartz and natural stone? Sounds like, yes. yes, it's exactly the same. Yeah. Um, number 11, which blade do you like the most for mitering the porcelain? You know, we've been using the Diatex 14 inch and it's been working very well, but the blade that, the erosions that you're recommending. The Odin. The Odin is, is also 14 inch. a great blade. So I would suggest probably using that first and, uh, and then see how, how everything works. Yeah. Um, number 12, I'll answer to is, are there silica concerns? So porcelain's made of clays, which have silica embedded in it. Um, nevertheless, there are studies showing that there's no concerns about silica for porcelain itself, especially once fired. However, if we're talking about exposure to crystalline silica, which is the dust during cutting, that is the case. So proper safety procedures and precautions are recommended, just like any other material like bricks um, or other tile. Um, going through the same cutting procedure. Um, number 13, do you have any recommendations for water jet cutting these materials? It water jet cuts very easy. Um, I mean, there's no hesitation. You can treat it just like you do quartz, mm -hmm. really. Uh, we haven't noticed any problems whatsoever. Okay, great. Um, number 14, do bridge saws need a horse high horsepower motor and if so what do you suggest uh the the amperage on cutting the porcelain um is not high it actually cuts very easy um, very similar to quartz um so there's not a need for more horsepower okay great um and then number 15 how many inches per minute can you cut the 2cm material now this is per fabricator with, you know, what equipment they have, and hopefully they're using a quality blade. Um, so this will vary. I would say you can start, you know, cutting 30 inch per um, per minute or three feet per minute in a straight cut and, um, and then go down from there um, or go up from there, I should say. And the same thing with miters, you should really, uh, you know, start lower and then work up. You can always increase your feed rate and increase your, you know, uh, fabrication time. Okay, great. And I have some other questions that people have sent in and I'll just um, ask you a few that are here. So what adhesive do you suggest or what do you use? Um, right now we use, it's called gold adhesive. It, it works really well. And it works good for outside and inside, and it's been a great product. Okay, great. Um, let's see. Somebody asked, um, Bill asked, do you have specific fabrication guidelines for the fabrication of Magnifica? We actually do not, as we just don't have fabrication guidelines for um, quartz or granite either. Um, and uh, just the same. Um, 
Kit is asking, what pads do you suggest? The same pads you're using with with your stone. It actually, the fabrication on the porcelain material, as far as the pads go, are extremely minimal. Um, I mean, it's just the very eased edge you're working with. Yep. So it's not much needed there. Okay, great. Um, Suzanne is asking, can you laminate and have a 4CM product or waterfall the countertop? Most definitely. Yeah. Yes, we have done that a lot. Yes. Um, okay. Next question. Do you offer sample packs of all the finishes for designers and contractors? Um, yes, we do. Since this product is just being launched officially um, in October, we will have the samples of items that are readily available mid-October that we can send out. Um, those are being cut now as some of the last colors are being made. Um, I have another question. Can we special order the 15 by 30 tiles? Yes, you can. It's just we just cut the 30 by 30 in half, um, which is pretty easy to do. Is it easier to match up the edges when mitering them? Because with Decton, it's not easy to match up. Jen is writing in for that. It's very easy, yes. Um, I mean, just like a quartz or stone, really, there's no difference. Um, can you cut on it and can you set hot pans out of the oven on it? Uh, this product is fired um, at thousands of degrees. So technically you could put a hot pan on it, correct, Frederico? Yeah, the material is, uh, I mean, you know, it's it's always, you know, um, it's, um, how you call it, heat shock resistant. Again, uh, I mean, I don't put a hot pan on mine. No, I always put exactly, something down exactly. to I was, I was counter, about to, So yeah, I would yeah, recommend yeah. that you you would do that just to, yeah, so, yeah, actually, you know, uh, your counters, yeah, but yeah, I was about to say the same thing. I mean, of course, it's uh, let's say that that would should should be an accident. So let's say that these these materials should be good in case of an accident. So so by mistake, you put something extremely hot on your on your counter, and okay, it survives and have a problem. But you know, like 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 you said, you know, it's always better, you know, you know, to take care and you know, not to not to abuse it anyway. I mean, like you, I wouldn't abuse anything, but yes, uh, material sure. is more resistant for sure. Whitney is asking, do you need to seal it? Um, any maintenance? Do you seal your jobs? No, porcelain does not need to be sealed. And no. it's very, there's really very little or no maintenance. I can speak to that too from having it in my home. There's really no maintenance with this product. Can um, Amber is asking, can the cut edges be polished? To a finished look, leaving the tops 2CM, or do the edges need to be mitered for a really finished look? Are there various veining options for each color? So you could literally just polish the 2CM edge. You don't have to do a mitered edge at all. It, in fact, in Italy and in Europe, they just polish the edge, um, and that's kind of how they prefer it. Yeah, confirm it. Um, okay, let's see. Um, Kelsey is asking, are there various veining options for each color option? In other words, can you choose two or more slabs in the same color but with different veining? Yes, we have book matches, so you can buy an A and a B, um, and the veining is different. So if you had a very large island, you could, um, work with that. Could work with that, yeah. Um, let's see, Bill is asking, is there a recommend, is it recommended that slabs be stored on an A frame that has a rubber or soft surface versus metal? Uh, not necessary. It just has to be flat and put face out, obviously, the yeah. back to it. And that's how we store a lot of our slabs, and we have no issues. Okay, great. Um, will this material be eventually available in 3CM? Um, and would you expect to see the same fabrication charge for this material as quartz, or does it take more labor or time on the CNC to cut? Um, or use more diamond blades to fabricate? I would say at this point, it's starting to become just as easy as quartz. 
um, and we're doing more of it. It's definitely gotten way more popular. So the more we do it, the less expensive it will be because we'll be that much more streamlined and and smooth operation. Yeah, prior to the 2CM, there was a lot more you had to do with the 12 millimeter, the six millimeter to put it on a counter, including yeah. different boards and a lot more. So I think the price was higher. True, sure. yes, the backer board and the steps involved were definitely adding to the cost. Yeah, um, about the 3CM, I think eventually um, that's something that, that could be on the table right now. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, right in the, now, tech, so. technically, it's po probably it's possible. I mean, not a big need for it right now. I mean, it's such a superior product. I mean, so if it's really not needed, uh, uh, we don't see we don't see why. But yeah, technically, it's so right now we will, we prefer to stay with our two CM. Kylie's asking, are you able to cut porcelain into smaller sizes, such as a 4 by 16 to be laid on the floor? Yes. Um, you need, you know, you need somebody very skilled at cutting it, but um, all porcelain can be cut down. Um, you can talk to your sales rep. We have a fabrication shop that, um, that we could have material cut down to if needed. Um, Tracy's asking, will this handle freeze thaw for outdoors in North Idaho? Yeah, the material is uh, is used. I mean, con consider the porcelain is actually used for, for ventilated facades. So, to in every kind of weather, you know, we have we have ventilated facades uh, in Chicago. We have ventilated facades, you know, all over the you know in the U.S. You know, all over the place. So it's the same material. So, but uh, yeah, I don't I don't is is a like I said before, it's thaw resistant and fr and freeze resistant. So yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Next is: Are you getting feedback from customers of installed material that it's chipping is possible from glass falling from the cabinet? Um, mm. I mean, anything can chip yeah. at some point. So you know. Yeah, it's I mean, highly chip resistant, but things can happen and things can chip. So I don't want to say, you know, there's an earthquake and something happens and falls and you get a chip. But I can say, you know, personally, I've had this in my home and I'm not particularly easy on my countertops and I don't have any chipping. So I think, you know, I used to have marble in my counter um, and right where the dishwasher is, where you would, you know, shut the dishwasher, I had some chipping along the edge. I'm the same person. I use my dishwasher the same way, and with the the porcelain, I I have no issues of chipping right there above um, yeah above it's, my dishwasher. And um, customers have not complained about any chipping. And right. They've installed several porcelain jobs in the last several years. Yeah. So I would say it's definitely not a problem. Yeah. Um, can you have ease or mitered edge detail, or can you bevel? Um, we actually have beveled before doing a double miter, um, and it's actually worked out very well. It's a lot more work, obviously, so it can be done, um, you know, for an experienced fabricator, and it does look very nice. Great. Um, actually, even done a knife edge, which turned out very nice oh. on a conference table. Um, um, Joe's asking, when will this be available for purchase? So um, I think we have over six colors that are in stock right now, and every day we're, we're getting more. Um, by the end of this month, we should have all of the colors in stock. Um, we're stocking them at um, over nine locations throughout the country. So you should be able to purchase some of it now. Um, yeah. Some of the darker colors will be ready by the end of, of the um the month and then we're updating our brochure online so you can view that um, and see all the colors. If you go on our website um, and you go to the top and go to featured and then you hit Magnifica, um, there's a landing page where you can watch some videos and, um, and see all the different colors. Um, let's see. Is there any top polishing suggestions for seams, hard, soft pads recommendations? You wouldn't want to try to hit a seam 
like you would a stone maybe because um, that would make it worse honestly there's you don't want to sand it to the point or polish it to the point where you lose the color of the inkjet that's on the porcelain so you got to be very careful with that okay thank you um let's see i'm just sort of trying to go through all the questions and see if there's anything else Um, somebody asked, be... somebody asked, can you do an OG edge? Uh, no. No. Is it possible to do a chiseled edge? No. Okay. I think that is all the time we want to take up for this because it's been over um, the 45 minutes. I want to just thank you guys so much for all your time. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to email us at info at bedrosians.com. We'd be happy to help you. Um, you can also follow us on social media um, and Instagram, Facebook, and all of those things. And we just want to say thank you so much um, for your time. Thank you, Tom, for your time. And thank you, Frederico. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.